Hi, Magic of Math here, and today we're going to be talking about rearranging a formula. Here's our question. This question has two parts. The volume V of a cylinder with a radius R and a height H can be found using this equation. Part A. Which of the following equations has been correctly rearranged to solve for H? So you can see that they've taken the volume formula of a cylinder and they've solved it for the variable h. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're looking to isolate, solve for h, which is h is right here. So we want to get this all alone and say h equals something. So we can see that it's being multiplied by pi r squared. The inverse of multiply is to divide. So we're going to divide both sides by pi r squared. Pi r squared divided by itself is 1, and 1h one is just h. So if we rewrite this, we know that this h is equal to all of this, volume v divided by pi r squared. And we can see that that answer corresponds to choice d, h equals volume divided by pi r squared. So it's the same formula as this volume formula. It's just everything's rearranged to say that the height of a cylinder is equal to its volume divided by pi times r squared. Now let's look at part B. Part B asks us which of the following equations has been correctly rearranged to solve for r in this volume formula for a cylinder. So we're looking for radius, which is r, and that is in this term right here, r squared. So we're looking to get r squared alone first and then solve for r and pick which one of these it belongs to. So we can see that we have pi multiplied by r squared multiplied by h. The inverse of multiply is to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi and h. So when I do that, pi divided by pi and h divided by h is 1, leaving us r squared. So we have volume divided by pi times h is equal to r squared. So we don't want to know what r squared is equal to. We want to know what r is equal to. Well, the inverse of squaring is square root. So now I'm going to find the square root of each side. So we want to do the square root of r squared and then the square root of volume all over pi times h. Because r squared is a perfect square, r times r is r squared, we know that the square root of that is r. We don't want to find the square root of this just yet. We're going to leave this in what we call radical form. The radius is equal to the square root of the volume of the cylinder divided by pi times h. That corresponds to answer b. I thank you for joining me today to rearrange a formula. I hope you'll come back soon to the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.